In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five cello tape options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've added one note here where I've added the icon, the title and the detail text along with the shadow effect. And this is a stick with a cello tape and I've put the option number one here. When I click with the different color combination comes the option two, three, four and five. And I have created one more slide where I have added only three options. So you can see here, this is somewhat bigger. So this is the first option, the second option and the third option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code. You can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. So depending on the requirement, you can just uh, adjust the size. So I'm just going to reduce the curves, the edges here by dragging this outside the small orange point. All right, then shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. I'm going to make it white. All right. Now I would like to add one kind of a cello tape effect here for that. Let me just go to insert shapes and I'm going to choose this one, which is the free form shape. Let me just zoom out. So you know exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm going to click here, start from here, bring it all the way down and then you need to just zigzag it. You can see here, I'm just, you know, clicking up and down. So it looks like a tape effect there and then take this up. All right, make sure the line is somewhat straight and then again, put it the same thing, you know, just zigzag click here and there and then merge it. Okay. Then shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. Now I can give any color of my choice. So I'm just going to give green and I'm going to make it somewhat transparent for that. Right mouse click, go to format shape and increase the transparency effect here so that you can see here i'm just going to make it maybe 30 percent and then i would like to add some uh, shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency level all right then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and then rotate it a little bit down like this and I'm going to put it here then send this to back all right so you can see here the shadow effect also has been created the next thing now we need to put some uh, the text here first of all go to insert text box I'm going to enter the option number one here all right center align I'm going to use the font Futura and make it bold increase the size all right and if you like you can just uh, put the outline only here for that outline you have to go to the shape format text outline make it white and shape fill make it no fill okay and then i'm just going to put it here this is the option number one for us and then go to insert shapes i'm going to add one oval shape hold the shift key while dragging this one okay small size put it exactly in the center shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give it white only or this color a light gray color and then go to the effects shadows and here i'm going to give some shadow effect all right and here in this one i'm going to add some icons so go to insert icons and these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so i'm just going to select this icon click on insert reduce the size to maybe 0.7 and put it exactly in the center of this oval shape all right then go to insert text box you can add your title here all right and this one i'm going to make it center align again i'm going to use the for uh, the future all right and then you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give green and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text so i'm going to type lorem within brackets one and i don't want this much long text i'm going to delete it 
and then select this one center align reduce the font size and done so first option is done right now i'm going to select all the objects i can just put it here all right and then here i'm going to group it one by one first of all i'm going to group this part these two parts okay that means this one hold the shift key and this one press ctrl g to group it and then i'm going to select the other also all right ctrl g to group it and then send this to back okay so you can see you have got two groups now all right now it's easy for us i'm going to select these two groups hold the ctrl shift key i'm going to add only three uh, options and done so now it's time for us to go and change some different color here maybe i can use some purple and i'm going to use some kind of a uh, blue maybe and then i'm going to make this as two and this is three change the color to this purple and change the color to blue that's it done and then you can change these icons also depending on your requirement again to change the icon select the icon go to the graphics format graphics change graphics and i'm just saying from icons and i'm just going to change uh, select a different icon click insert done all right and for this also i'm going to do the same thing go to the change graphic from icons and i'm going to choose maybe the bulb finish all right now let's do a simple animation to it i'm going to use the animation called the stretch enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects select stretch click ok and here stretch i'm just going to save from right okay and this one also i'm going to add the same animation add animation make or oh, sorry more entrance effects select the stretch click ok now this one should come from the top and this should happen with previous a little bit of delay all right so if i play it comes like this now it's easy for me i can just simply select this one animation painter click on this then i'm going to select this one all right so i can just simply just do this particular animation like this all right so let's play now okay the first part second option then the third option and if you like you can just add some title uh, at the top here 